Have you ever started a motor and heard a loud clack? That's probably a DOL starter, direct online. The simplest and most common way to start small to medium AC motors. A DOL starter connects a motor directly to the full line voltage. There's no ramp up, just instant full speed start. Simple, low cost, and perfect for basic motor applications. Here are the key components in a DOL starter. Main contactor, connects and disconnects power to the motor. Overload relay, protects the motor from overcurrent or overheating. Start stop push buttons, provide manual control. Motor, usually a three phase squirrel cage induction motor. Now let's talk about the wiring. Three phase power is wired to the main contactor. Power flows through the overload relay. From the relay, Wires go to the motor terminals U, V, and W. Start and stop buttons are wired into the control circuit for the contactor coil. A normally open contact is used for self-latching or holding. When should you use a DOL starter? Use it for motors up to 5 to 10 horsepower, depending on your region, when high inrush current is acceptable, and in simple systems like pumps, fans, and compressors. But keep in mind, it has limitations. It causes high starting current, around six to eight times the motor's rated value. That can create mechanical stress or voltage dips in weak power systems. So what's the bottom line? DOL starters are simple, reliable, and cost-effective. They're great for small motors where soft starting isn't needed. Have you ever troubleshooted a DOL starter issue? Share your experience in the comments. And if you enjoy content like this, visit our YouTube channel and follow us for more automation and electrical insights. Link in bio.